Okay, so today we will be doing a um, brake fluid change. So you can also do this with brake pads. So I put the link in the description for this little thing right here. This has got a little check valve in it, and this is the little wrench. And you put this on the bleeder screw right here on a CRF230 or any Japanese dirt bike of... You know, any Jap Japanese dirt bike with an 8mm wrench. So I'll put the description. Get a little check valve in there. So it lets air in, but does not let any air out. I mean, opposite of what I just said. And you also need some DOT3 brake fluid. And a water bottle to catch all the other brake fluid. So why I'm doing this, is because this brake fluid has not ever really been changed. And also, I've, I just really want to try this new part out. You can actually see there's a little piece of trash in there, too, also. So, so I just got this cracked here. Um, so, I'm going to have my little helper bleed the brick. Alright, go ahead, Saul. <laughs> it's working. Do it, do it a bunch of times. Look at the air in there. It works really good. Alright, stop, so.